I am Neil Nixon and I'm at the NAB show in New York. I'm delighted to be joined today by David Colzar, offering management analytics at IBM Cloud Video. David, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Neil. Um, IBM uh, Cloud Video Analytics, powered by Watson, um, as an offering, how can uh, broadcasters use this technology? Uh, great question. So it's really why I'm here and what we talk about every day with our clients is, is uh, what we're doing, which is really cutting edge within the Watson set of technologies and how that can power companies across this space. Uh, specifically, uh, what we've really kind of been announcing is three key areas where we're, uh, where we're moving in new directions, and that's uh, enabling companies to really understand their data in a new way, uh, creating metadata at a very deep level uh, in a way that really before wasn't approachable. So, you know, they say pictures worth a thousand words. Video really is just thousands of pictures, and accessing that, understanding that, and then doing intelligent things with it is something that in the past has really been a challenge for content creators. Okay, and what benefit then does that knowledge have? What does that bring to a, to a broadcaster? Yeah. Uh, ultimately, the goal for any kind of technology is to provide a better experience, better content to the end user. So broadcasters should be using these types of technologies to do things like improving the way we recommend content to a subscriber. Uh, creating content that we know will be more valid for our subscribers. For instance, if I know I have a certain demographic makeup within my audience, then I probably want to target the content I either acquire or create to that audience. If I know that I've got mostly teenage girls, then I probably want to make that kind of content, you know, targeting that audience. If I know that I've got uh, an older demographic, then I can change the, what I acquire and what I build to that market. In addition, um, if I start seeing churn, I can help my business succeed by either advertising more appropriately to my subscribers or potentially going out to people that may advertise with me with more informed knowledge when I do ad sales. So it can help benefit both my business as well as the engagement and success of my subscribers. Okay, so in addition to the sort of QAE ben uh, QOE benefits mm -hmm. of, uh, of the technology, there are some monetization benefits as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Specifically, as I mentioned, improved advertising, making sure the advertising that I provide resonates better with subscribers. Uh, one thing we talk about often is, if I know you own a product, I probably don't want to advertise for something that you either just bought or already own. Mm -hmm. So maybe I make an informed decision to dynamically change an advertisement to something that you don't own or that I know, based on the information I have, may resonate with you more directly. Okay. Yeah. That's very interesting. So, looking forward, then this is uh, this market's evolving very quickly. Yep. Um, looking forward, what's what does the future hold for analytics within the broadcast sector? That's one of my favorite things to answer, Neil. I appreciate the question. So, uh, what I talk about with people all the time is how we're engaging with technology very differently today. So, Siri, Alexa, Watson, these allow for people to engage with everything around us in an entirely new way. So when I look at the future, I think that's going to continue. I see us really being much more engaged with our technology. So if I'm watching television, if I'm watching a movie, I might be able to tell it my mood, my personality, and it can give me dynamic content based on that. So it could be, hey, television or hey, telephone device, give me some sort of media that'll help me go to sleep or I have an exciting day at NAB New York, give me something to get me in the mood to have a successful show. It's, I, I think that kind of engagement really is the future. And do you think the, the viewer, your customers, ultimately the broadcaster's customers, that's something they're looking for? Absolutely. I think improved recommendation is something I hear from our customers all the time is massively lacking. If you look across recommendation engines that we all use, whether that be some of the more popular ones like Amazon or Netflix, or really any kind of online recommendation engine, I think you'll find that there is a lot of improvement in that world that can happen. And to do that, we need to use technologies that help us improve what we know about media, things that we really haven't been able to extract in the past, and make very smart associations within that information to improve recommendation, to improve the way we interact with our, with our content. Okay, David, that's excellent. Just as a sign-off, um, 
I think the, your first time at NAB Show New York. This is a, a relatively new show in the uh, <laughs> in the event calendar. Uh, what do you hope to uh, achieve through through attending here this uh, this week? I, I hope to make some great connections with people that have similar uh, thoughts and concepts and technologies to us. Uh, hopefully, get some good leads on uh, people that we can work with to really get to this next level of uh, of analytics in uh, in our media. David, I wish you a very successful show and thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. Thank you, Neil. Thank you.